Okay, now we're going to make some templates, and they're going to be what we're calling um, named node templates, or object-based templates. Um, there's going to be views, not so much for specific node types, like transform, but for actually specific nodes. So, like, for example, if you... Uh, this is a transform node, but it's called hand lf ctrl control. And um, it has an, a different attribute on it called twist than the standard transform node. So... Um, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up our UI again, and this time, instead of actually just dealing with a transform, I'm going to select that control, and then reset the editor. And it's letting me know you will use any unsaved template editing, because it's aware of the fact that it's got a populated UI. And I will say, reset the editor. Now if we go through, and you can see that actually it still says no type is transform, but we're going to actually activate the name-based template checkbox here, and now fills in um, this this type. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new template that's specifically for this actual node. Um, and it's... Well, we'll do basically the exact same thing we had before. We'll add the translate, the rotate, scale, visibility, and then we'll also add the twist. And we're going to um, shift the twist up into that separate one, and we'll add a, uh, a group here for transforms. And we'll add one here for... Oops. Made another copy of it. Good thing I can just delete it. Bam! <laughs> I'll add another group here. And we'll make it called display. Maybe it won't. Oh crap. Maybe it won't let me do that to the last one. Let's see. Just so you know, this is a new UI. So I'm learning stuff too. Display. No, nope, I guess I just didn't have it selected. Okay, and again, we're going to make this the same basic basis for our effects one. We're going to delete the effects view. Copy this view as effects. And in here we'll add... Um, what did we add before? We had the uh, override color and the enable override over here. We'll bring them across. Up. And and for the lighting, again, we'll just make this visibility. I'll bring up our ubiquitous script editor, and we will set the options to verbose. Now, we create a template, and it's, if you look at this name, it's saying, okay, it's created the program files, Autodesk, blah, 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 blah. aetransform.hand lf ctrl. It's named for the node. This file relates directly to this this specific object. So we'll say OK. And now, if we select this and set our global view to anim, see we have our standard views here, but now what would happen if we select our hand control, we get that twist. Now, um, just so you know, if we're using a regular um, attribute, sorry, regular display template, if the transform template has an attribute which this node does not actually have in it, it'll just be ignored. Um, we didn't actually need to do this. We could have added the twist to just the regular transform template. But I wanted to do it to show the idea that, you know, we're getting one specifically for this object. And you can see it right here. So the view is named anim, but the template is transform.handcontrollf.ctrl. That's letting you know that this template is an object-based template. Whereas if we just select transform node, we can see that it's actually just creating, uh, it's just saying it's from the transform. Uh, this is a potentially a very powerful tool because this works with namespaces, this works with um, 
anything else that you kind of deal with. And ideally, um, you could have a character rig that's set up where you specify your controls for just your standardized rig. So, for example, your foot controls and your hand controls, and you can then just specify a template for these five objects. And now every character rig you create, as long as you keep your rigging on your side consistent, the template files will work with it. It's potentially very, very powerful and can save you an awful lot of time. Um, so that, in a nutshell, is an object-based template. They are the exact same, and if you can come here, you can see. They are the exact same as regular node-type templates. The only difference is in the file name. Other than that, they look exactly the same. So, transform template. And there's a transform template, and there's the object-based template. And, as I've said before, that's all there is to it.